Morning boys. So today we're gonna to be starting with learning how to play our violin. So when we open our cases, we wanna do it down on the floor so the violin doesn't accidentally fall out. So if everybody could get down next to their case and open it up for me, please. Okay, make sure your case is flat on the ground. Okay, flat on the ground so the instrument doesn't fall out. Giovanni, put your flat. There we go, buddy, thank you. Okay, we're gonna take out three things. We're gonna take out our violin, our shoulder rest, and our bow. Okay, we can place those up on our chair, all three of those things. Okay, put your bow at the back of your chair so you don't sit on it. Okay, and then you can close your case and get back in your chair. Put yourself up on your chair so you don't accidentally step on it. Thank you. Very good, bow at the back of your chair, good job. Good job, bow and shoulder rest, okay. So you're gonna have to turn this one. Okay, there we go. Put it back to your chair. Okay. I think your shoulder rest is in your pocket, Patrick. Because I see a big bump. Yep, that's it. There we go, okay, into your chair, okay. All right, so to put on our shoulder rest, okay, we want to take it, let's hold our shoulder rests. Okay, our shoulder rests have these feet. Yours might be a different color than mine, but we want to turn the feet so that the ledge is on the inside, okay? You don't have one yet? Okay, your parents will get you one, don't worry, okay? All right, so we're gonna turn the feet so the ledge is on the inside. Then, that ledge connects on the bottom edge of our violin, okay? And that is gonna go on, we're just gonna hook it on one side and then slide it on the other. So hold your violin in one hand and the shoulder rest in another and I'm gonna come around and help you, okay? Very good. Very nice, good work, okay? And then hold your violin on your left knee with your left hand, no right hand for this minute. And you can face forward, please. How are we doing? Okay, it's okay. Put it on one side and then slide it on, okay? okay. All right, put your violin on your left knee, no right hand for right now. Left hand, whoop, left hand right here, face forward. Okay, and we're still gonna put our violin on our left knee and our hand up here and we're facing forward. Okay, so this is rest position, boys. Okay, when our violin is on our knee like this. So today we need to learn, why aren't we using our right hand? What is our right hand gonna be holding one day? The bow. The bow, that's right. The, the right hand's job is to hold the bow. So we can't use the right hand to get our violin up on our shoulder and we're aiming for our collarbone. That's this hard bone, you can feel it right next to your neck. Go ahead and press next to your neck. Find that collarbone, that's where we're aiming for. That's what we wanna rest our violin on, okay? All right, so here are three steps. Straight up like a rocket ship. Twist towards you and set it down on the collarbone, okay? And eventually you should be able to just hold it just with your head. Don't try that if you don't have a shoulder rest. Okay, you need to have a shoulder rest. Okay, but for today we're gonna to use safety hold. We're gonna leave the left hand up there until we get used to this, okay? Nice posture. Let me just help one friend. Just get a little more on your head. Okay, all right. And we're gonna look at pages four and five in the lesson book. Okay, and you guys have copies. Good, all right, with our right hand. That's the hand by the auditorium door. Give me a stop sign. Okay, curl down three fingers so we make a letter L. Okay, and put those two fingertips together. Say hello to Plucky Ducky. Okay, this is Plucky Ducky. He's gonna help us pluck our strings. Okay, so we're holding our instrument. Take your thumb, anchor it right against the side of the fingerboard. Okay, for cellos and basses it would look like this. Okay, and we're gonna count over, starting at the string closest to us, 
three strings and pluck it once. Count over three strings. One, two, three. Just pluck one. That's our D string, okay? So look at number two in the book. Let's play open D. Every time we see a D, just put your instrument down there and be quiet, please. Thank you. Okay, every time we see a D, we pluck the string once. When we see the squiggly rest, we're silent. We don't do anything. We just pause, okay? Here we go. Let's give it a try. Eyes on the book. Look at number two. Let's play D. Our first song ever. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. Let's try that one more time. Make sure you're plucking the third string and we want our thumb against the fingerboard. Okay? All right, there we go. Help anchor us. One more time. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, Edward, wait for directions. Here we go. Remember our thumb on the side of the fingerboard. Here we go. Tuck in those three fingers so we're making a letter L. Tuck them in, tuck them in, tuck them in, tuck them in. Here we go. One more time. Look at the book. Read left to right just like we read in English class. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 rest. D, 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 work there. D, 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 good. Now go back one string. Okay, so you should be on your second string. Okay, this is A. Give it a try. Okay, should it sound higher? Here we go. Ready? Number three. Let's play open A. Same idea as open D. Same idea. New note. One, two. Tuck in those fingers, please. Tuck in those fingers, please. They're tucking these fingers because one day they're going to hold the bow. Okay, here we go. One, two. Ready? Go. A, A, A. Rest. A, A, A. Rest. A, 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 A. Rush, you guys sound like professionals already. You're so good. <laughs> Yay, that was great. Okay, next one. Uh-oh, what happens on the next one, guys? D, and then it switches to A, A, A. So, our, so Plucky Ducky's got a hop. So we're using the two strings in the middle. Okay, is D our second string or our third string? Which one? Third. Third. Here we go. Ready? So we're starting on the third string. Make sure you got your fingers tucked in like a letter L. Okay, I still see fingers out. Tuck the fingers in. Okay? These three fingers got to tuck in so they're not in the way. Here we go. Ready? Two's a team. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 switch. A, 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 switch. D, D, switch. A, A, switch. D, D, D. Good. Do that one more time without me. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 switch. A, 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 fuck there. D, D, A, A, D, D, D. Good, one more time without me saying switch. Hang on, I'll give you one, two, ready, go. Every time. One, two, ready, go. D, 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 A, A, A. D, D, A, A, D, D, D. Good, that was excellent, very good. So your homework with your violin is all of pages four and five, okay? Now we're gonna learn how to hold our bow. Okay, so set your violin down on the chair and pick up your bow and stand up. Okay, we're gonna stand up. All right, so on each of your bows, I'm gonna put a pinky nest. Okay, this is one of the things that I order with the participation fee that your parents pay, okay? So don't lose this, okay? Just leave it on your bow. Now let, yeah, that's okay, that happens. Okay, just leave that alone. Don't touch the hair. Okay, we're not gonna touch the hair. It's real horse hair and we want it to stay sticky, okay? Our fingers have sweat and grease and dirt, we don't want any of that in the horse hair, 
because it's not like us where we can take a bath or a shower at the end of the day and clean our hair. You can't give your bow a bath. It doesn't work like that, okay? So try not to touch the hair, okay? Everybody understand? Do we touch the hair? No, no we don't touch the hair. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's learn the parts of our bow first, and then we'll learn how to hold it. So the pointy end is called the tip. Find your tip. You can touch that, it's not the hair. Okay, the tip, and then the tip connects to the stick. That's the long part, it's either black or brown, depending on the type of bow you have. At the other end, we have this black piece that hangs down. This is called the frog, like ribbit ribbit, a frog. What's it called? Frog. frog. And then at the very end of the stick, we have a winding screw. So when we're gonna practice, we have to tighten the bow here. This is how we tighten it. We turn this to the right several times until there's enough space. Pencil. Until there's enough space that a pencil fits without getting stuck. Okay, so you can test that at home with a pencil. Go ahead, start tightening and I'll come around and check. Turn to the right. So see the pencil's getting stuck there, so we need to turn it some more. See how many times I'm turning it, Giovanni? Okay. That's good. Set it on the music stand. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, we got to tighten way more. You're losing it, honey. You're going the wrong way. I know. Go this way. Okay, don't touch the hair. Okay, set it on the, set it on the music stand. Let's see, how'd you do? Perfect. Set it on the music stand. Just a little bit more. You're doing it the right way. Okay? And we'll set it on the music stand. Okay, so here's how we make Mr. Bunny Face to help us all go standing up, standing up. This is the standing up part. Okay? Again, right here. There's a hand by the door. Stop. Okay, put the two middle fingers together. And our two outer fingers are separate. This is hard for some people. It will take you some practice. Curve the middle fingers down and take your thumb and touch it to that first knuckle line. Okay, see how this looks like a bunny? He's got two big ears, right? Can you wiggle his ears? Can you wiggle just the big ear? Can you wiggle just the little ear? Can you make him chew his carrots by moving your thumb? Okay, all right? So this is the shape we use to help us hold the bow. Just hold this shape and I'm gonna come around and help you each with your bow holds, okay? So calm down. Thumb goes right there. Hold your bow just like that, straight up, and watch that thumb bump. Make sure that thumb stays curved. Edward, you're not waiting for me. Okay, our thumb is not going to go under there. Our thumb is going to go right there, straight up. Okay? Watch that. Hold it. It takes practice. Hold it straight up, please. Thank you. It takes practice to make it feel comfortable. Okay? Day one, it's not gonna feel so comfortable. Thank you, thank you, nuts. Big finger, curve your thumb, straight up. Good job. Okay. Whoa, let me help, let me help. There you go, big finger, whoop, big finger, lean on that knuckle, curve your, curve your thumb, let me curve it. Hold it straight, okay? All right, so we've got three games we're gonna play with our bow to get used to it so it doesn't hurt. Okay, or feel uncomfortable. Make sure your thumb stays bent. Stay like that. There we go. Okay? So here's our three games. Our first game, we're going to be an elevator in a department store, right? A store with levels where they sell different things, like in New York City. Okay, so straight up to the top floor. What are we selling in the top floor? Uh, bananas. Bananas. What else? Anything else on our top floor? Cookies. Dogs. Cookies and dogs. Bananas, cookies, and dogs. Okay, down to the basement. What is down in the basement of our store? Spiders and storage, okay? So practice going up and down the department store. Up and down. Make sure your thumb stays curved. There we go, yep, that's very important. Keep that thumb curved. Okay, second game. It's, how, it's October, it's almost Halloween. So we're all gonna be wizards stirring a big giant cauldron. Okay, stir a cauldron. What is our potion going to do? Make us invisible, what else? Uh, make us invisible and play music. 
Invisible Land playing music? Well, that would be spooky, right? If we just heard music coming from invisibility. What do you think the potion's gonna do? Um, Turn into a toilet. Every single radio is going to make the same sound. How about you? What's your potion going to do? Um, you don't know. How about make homework disappear? Yes. A potion to make homework disappear. <laughs> All right. Now, our last bow game, when you're at home, make sure you have some space to the left and the right of you because our bow is going to become a windshield wiper, okay, but, not, but on a quiet rainy day, okay? So I'm going to face the same way as you. So first, we're going to twist our wrist, bow hair down. And then twist our wrist the other way, bow hair up. This is a great time to check your thumb. Is it still curved? Okay, if not, reset it. Okay, you guys keep practicing, and I'm going to come around and check your bow hold. Nice and slow, back and forth, keep practicing while I look. Yeah, beautiful. That's excellent. Beauteous. You guys are making my job easy. Mm -hmm. I like it. But just make sure your thumb is curved, but it's starting to slip through. Make sure it doesn't slip through, but really, really good. Same thing. It's curved, but it's slipping through. We don't want it slipping through, buddy. Good. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. Very nice. Okay, so when we're done with our bow, the last thing we have to do is we have to loosen the hair so it doesn't stay tight all the time because that will stretch it out and it'll start to break. Okay, so loosen the hair, turn it to the left till the hair comes back and touches the stick. Okay. Oops, I think you're going the wrong way here, mister. Hang on, let me help you. Yeah, hang on, I'll come around and check. Okay, you can put that bowl away. Yeah, we gotta loosen it a little bit more. Put that bowl away. In your case, put it away. That's perfect, put it away. Very nice, you're doing it. Just, we gotta go a little faster. Put it away. Okay, and then before we put our violin away, we need to take off the shoulder rest. It cannot go in the case on. Okay, so that's lesson one. Thanks for watching.